How do you know when you need more gear? Music production is an expensive hobby. One day you learn your first chords on guitar and the next day you put as much money into instruments, effects, amplifiers and software as other people put into a new car or even a house. Every musician I know at some point bought something they rarely have ever used or regret buying in the first place. How come gear takes such an important place in our journey when we can basically create beautiful art with a minimalistic approach as well? I think one of the biggest misconceptions when starting out is seeing the big studios of our idols and famous musicians and thinking that that all the gear is necessary to produce good quality music. So the logical step is to invest as much money as you can and get all the gear professionals have. Then you produce your own music and it doesn't sound as good as the music you listen to. The difference surely is that one piece of gear or software you don't have. So you get that and are trapped in a cycle of self-doubt where you associate your only progress with the acquisition of new gear. And there's even a term for that and it's called gear acquisition syndrome or gas. So if you think about getting new gear or software, be absolutely sure that it'll fall into one of these following categories. First, get gear that solves a specific problem you encounter. And that can be something obvious or something where you need experience and knowledge first before understanding the problem. If you want to record a song you wrote as a singer-songwriter, you can start recording yourself with a phone. But if you encounter the problem of low quality, recordings, you won't get around getting a decent microphone and audio interface at some point. Just make sure to do a sufficient amount of research and ask other musicians so that you can be absolutely certain that the new piece of gear will solve your problem in the first place. Even our example of getting a microphone is not as easy as it sounds as there's a big variety of microphones and each microphone is good at doing a specific job. When you got all the gear you needed to solve the problems you are facing, invest in gear that makes the process more efficient. To consider gear that falls into this category, it is crucial to understand what your current hardware is capable of and also how to work around the problems you're facing. This comes with experience, research and a lot of trial and error. When you encounter a problem, understanding it is crucial to know if your current tool set is fit to find a solution. Let's make another example of driving a nail into a piece of wood, but the only tool you have is a screwdriver. If you never worked with nails or tools before in your life, you won't know why or if the screwdriver doesn't work. But if you spend a lot of time and energy to drive in the nails with a screwdriver, you'll appreciate the hammer because you understand its purpose and what a difference it makes. The important note is that you'll still be able to build something using nails even if you don't have a hammer at hand. You worked so much with an inefficient tool that you can solve this problem even if you're missing an easy fix. This step is probably the most difficult to recognize and requires a lot of patience on your part to really push the limits of what you have and to learn more and more with what you have available to you. But it is worth it, I promise. Lastly, get gear that inspires you. But the focus here isn't on inspiration, but on lastly. Really only do this if you have money to spare, you don't need for anything else. I made a video about inspiration you can check out if you're interested how to find inspiration in the first place. But to sum it up, inspiration is a state of mind that stimulates you creatively. Gear is an option but far from the first and only one. You don't need gear to get inspired so only purchase it for this purpose if you are able to and not because you think it's a necessity. Keep in mind that all the gear you see in professional studios took decades to collect and acquire but if you give these people the bare necessities they'll still be able to produce good music. So let's get back to work and I'll see you next time. Happy practice!